Somebody stop. More people, more people. You get them, janitor. You beat them down whatever you're beating them down with. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Life in Bunker, episode number two. Let's get the ball rolling over here. We got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. Hey, Falcon, remember that time? Oh, no, Mole Man. No. Hey, <laughs> I was still fucking around with my introduction. Somebody stop. More people, more people. You get him, janitor. You beat him down whatever you're beating him down with. Okay, good job. You know what's cool about this? The janitor killed him, so he's going to come over here and clean up the mess afterwards. <laughs> well, welcome back, guys. Uh, for one, I was over here just having fun with some bullshit introduction. Suddenly, I saw this Mo Man. By the way, the janitor will also take care of the Mo Man's hole. Yeah, he took care of his hole pretty well, didn't he? <laughs> ah, yo, okay. More like he gave him a new hole. Okay, I'm going to stop right now with the whole butthole references here. Um, the events over here will tell you what's happening. So, the earthquake one that we had last episode is going to be noted over here. This is uh, popped up just now. The Mole Man just dug up a hole. We must close it before they overrun the bunker, and we are doing that right now with our janitor. Uh-oh. Uh Abjihit Ab Davidson. Um, that's a really difficult name for me to pronounce. Twisted his ankle, fell from the bed. And he's caught a rare strain of flu. That's going to be pretty bad because it's contagious for one. And number two, he might die. We don't have an infirmary just yet. Dude, you got this at a wrong time because I'm not ready for the infirmary just yet. I have to build the beds first. And uh. Davidson, you're, you're breaking my balls here, my friend. You are just completely gnashing him right now. Alrighty. I'm not sure if I'm going to cure you just yet. I'm going to give you a heads up. I'm not, I'm not heartless, but dude, I have things to do here first. Uh... If we set up an infirmary, I guess we could fuck food by sick people by the food area. I don't like that at all. It's not a good setup. Alrighty, fine. It'll be momentarily. I I, I really it, it bothers my OCD if I don't have this broken down properly. But at least momentarily we will have one over here. So where's my residential area infirmary? Okay, you take up 25 power, 150 building materials, building materials which we need for other things, mind you, but. Alrighty, what if we could just place this somewhere else, like not over here, though? <laughs> it's gonna be kind of in the way of everything, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That ain't gonna work. What are you doing over here? I need to cancel you out. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. People eating, enjoy sick people near you. That's all I can really say right now. I'm gonna... This needs to be brought down for a wall at some point, right? So I guess this would be a decent enough area for it. Uh, we'll have Doctor against here, and then the person... Yeah, that's, that's good. That'll work out. So, that's fine. Let's proceed forward. I need to cancel this sound over here. Excuse me, you? You need to stop, okay? Good. And somebody, janitor man, can you come over here and take care of this corpse, please? Yeah. All the blood there. Not really too hygienic. Yeah, it's a good janitor. Very, very good man. Over here, that's getting built. And then my room got jacked up over here because we can um, build through this over here. So instead, we're going to level this out, level this out, and we're going to go further down this side now. Which might indeed uncover more of our mole people, mole people. They're not necessarily crap people, they're just mole people. Same, uh, same theory though. That's good. Confirm that. Alright, so infirmary is up and running. We need to power it up, obviously. So that's where our power cables come into play. Power. Luckily, we have a connection through here, so what I could do is just, um, bam. No questions asked. Once that's powered up, we need to set up a doctor, so it gives, um, or he or she gives treatment to our sick individual, Abjahib Jip 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 Davidson over there. Um, so for that, let's go into, there he goes, you see? He's not in a good state of mind here. Unfortunately, he could also be a doctor, do we? Well, we have one extra doctor here, which is going to be Ohina Gray, luckily. So, Ohina Gray, you come over here. Oh, hey! Our babies are... our... our, well, our little test tube experiments are finally little kids. We'll go visit them here pretty soon. We have... That's not them. They don't show up in the uh, thing over here yet, Falcon, until they're growing up. Right. So, um, we'll give them jobs. They can't work as their kids. Once they turn into adults, we'll give them some jobs, but for now we can't do that. So, Ohina's going to be the doctor over here, meanwhile. They can work in infirmaries or research stations. Perfect. So, Ohina Gray will come over here and be our doctor that we deserve, that we need. And once she's over here stationed, whoever's sick or injured will come over here and get some treatment, and we'll be fine. Where is them? Um, oh, it was it was you? Really? 
No, no, it wasn't you, but you took damage from fighting the moles here over here getting patched up. Good on you. Smart man. Where are the kids at? There they are! Hey, little guys, how you doing? Aw, we have Claudia and Mani. Cute sounds that they make. No, not, 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 I'm not trying to check out the double door. I wanted to check out the kid. Oh, Paula Malik, how you doing? Hey, little guy. Oh, they sound so cute. Okay. So, we have now, we need some beds now, Falcon. People need to rest. Alright, so let's pause this here momentarily. We have our infirmary. Did, um, we treat? Hey, I'm Shahid. Why? Where are you at? Oh, no, it was you after all. You already got treated, though, right? Yeah, good on you. So eventually he'll, you know, his treatment is going to go up, I want to say, unless, let's see. We could also force him to do something like, you know, go to sleep, have some lunch, shower. <laughs> I have to command people to shower. You know, they're, they're just so unhygienic. It's like, hey, you know what? Dog, I'm sorry. You haven't showered in ages. Go shower now, okay? People are complaining. Alrighty, that's fine. So, I could set up a door here, but we'll hold off. Let's set up some beds here first. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll set up some beds here first. So, let's go into residential zone. We could only do single beds. We have how many people? 13? 13 with the little kids, right? Yeah, we'll do like, uh, do a setup like this. So, one. I don't think we need space in between them. So, we'll go this way for now. It's going to be five. Six one over here. I'm sorry for you guys being so cramped, but, you know, these rocks over here. Can't break them down yet. Mm, what I could do, though, is come over here and do that. I want to leave some building materials for our machinery, though, because we need to start refining some ore here soon. So that's going to be fine. Get these beds up and running. Have some place to sleep. We need to have a workout area and then other things. But before we even do that, let's come down here and start getting some ore happening. So we need production. We need mining machine. Oh, before I do this, hold up. This will tell you how much ore you could actually produce from this. So this ore deposit has 221. So you could have an idea how much it has. Like, for instance, if we come up here, this one has 244. And once it's mined out completely, it's gone for good. So something to definitely keep in mind. You will come here. No, Earthquake! No! Hey! Janitor, come over here and clean this up. Everything fine? Yeah, we're fine. And here are our beds here to sleep at. Alrighty, so... All these events over here. Let's go ahead and read them all. We know what they are. We constructed beds. Earthquake happened. No scientist. I, I, I beg to differ. We have a scientist right here. And because everybody... Oh, actually, we still need to treat Abjahit Davidson a bit longer, so we'll keep you there a meanwhile. But soon I'm going to have you start working again. Okay. So, here is our mining machine happening. Let's go ahead and connect this to a power source, obviously. Power cable. When automatic doors lose power or get broken, they must be manually operated. Uh-oh. One of our doors broke down over here. Oh, it's up and running now. That was weird. Alright, so power. We're going to run this through here. That is power, right, Falcon? Yeah. Run you through here, and that's going to be your point right there. So that's going to start mining some ore. The ore is going to be deposited into one of our containers over here, which is going to be right here. And this right here is going to be our building materials. So after you get a lot of ore or a lot of building materials, you will have to make more storage areas for them. So right now at the moment, though, we'll be fine with this one's going to have 300. Uh, we also need to be able to refine the ore into actually building materials. For that, however, we do need some special type of flooring for it. So what I am going to suggest here is that we come down this side and we make this kind of like our working area, right? Like our industrial stuff. So let's go ahead and make this opened up like so and maybe another one through here. Yeah, at least for now that'll work out. So you guys get that up and running. Uh, kids, more embryos. Yeah, yeah I think soon. By the way, if you're not making embryos, you might as well turn it off to get some extra power conserved. Just a FYI. Um, as a matter of fact, too, while I'm at it, I could disable one of these extra purifiers, if I'm correct here, and not lose oxygen. I think all we need is one running. Two will cause an issue. Yeah, you can see two turning off is going to have our oxygen go down. So we definitely need at least um, one up and running and the big guy. So that's cool. 
Alrighty. You guys mind that out already? That was actually pretty fast. How many building materials? 292. Uh-oh. That worries me a little bit. Let me pause this momentarily. One of the things I'm worried about this game early on is that the balance seems a bit iffy. Like, there's no alternative means to get building materials unless you start deconstructing your stuff again. But there should be, like, a viable option where you can find something because if you build too far ahead, you can, you can, um, get yourself stuck in a situation where you're kind of boned. And I hope I didn't just do that right now. I'd be really disappointed if I did. Let's come into... We need to get the machinery to turn ore into building materials. So for that one, we need production. Refinery takes up 100. Okay, we're still fine. So we are going to set up two of these bad boys because we want to build... We want to turn a lot of ore into building materials as soon as possible. So if we have two of them running, we'll be fine. But do we have enough power is the other question, which we'll find out here pretty soon. Um, now this over here cannot be placed on dirt. Regular ground. I'm not sure if you can put this on metal either. It has to be on concrete because of the weight behind it. Requires a concrete floor, right? It tells you right there, Falcon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm very astute sometimes. So, con concrete. This goes two by three. So we'll go over here. Turn that off and... Or not turn that off, but disable that one. And then we'll do... I want to have two of them running for now. So we'll see if we could warrant that. Alrighty, so we'll have ore beam pumped up, which is fine. We now need to be able to turn it into building materials. So we're going to be low on building materials for a while, which worries me because we still haven't set up our vegetable area to grow more food. So right now we're kind of surviving on the food that we start off with, but we need to get our own garden going. So I think for now we do one machinery, and then we probably go and make some vegetable garden. So we'll go into production, machinery, turn you around. There you go, and we're going to also have to power you up. Oh, but you know what? You're running under a uh, cable, so you'll be fine. <laughs> no worries there. Somebody make that and we're cool. Now, veggies. Veggies are going to require metal flooring at least. So we can't just build on top of this ground area. Which isn't too bad. What I'm thinking we can do is we'll send more people to come over here and break stuff down. I want to start making... Nope, not this wall. That's mine. I'm going to probably start making our vegetable garden somewhere hidden in here. So let's send my people to go and break that. Here's our machinery, and we also need to make sure that we're going to turn it on. So I want you to produce... Fuck, I mean, go go crazy. <laughs> produce all the ore into building materials. That's what we need right now. As you can see right now, um, it says one ore turns into five building materials. I'm not sure how credible that is. Because we're just building one at a time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got you. The ore isn't dropping because it's literally giving you one per five. I'm over here thinking that it's going to drop by one instantly, and then we'll give like a five surplus instantly, but it's just going slowly at it. I get you. Okay. No mistake there. That was just um, Falcon not being aware. Cool. So, over here we'll have our building area, or not our building area, but our vegetable area pretty soon. Everything else does seem to be running pretty smoothly. Let's find out how we're doing in power. We still have 36% left to give out, and 17% over here. I'm going to probably get these little munchkins up and running, too. Oh, no! Our first dead. Oh. Uh, the very first dead on, on your watch. It's a, ve a sad day for the whole bunker. I'm not sure who died. That one is going to be a... I guess uh, an event debt to the games wants to show you about that, how it works out. So we'll find out if there's any sort of idea how it died. Or how that person died. Oh, it was the Mole Man! The Mole Man just dug up a hole. Oh, you know who it was? It was... Oh, shit, we're still running in the background, aren't we? Stop, 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 stop. Stop it right now. It was Abshid Davidson. So he was the guy who was already injured. He got that one flu. That flu is probably what killed him, I will, I'm going to probably say. That or probably the injuries. We'll see. Yeah, he got chicken box. <laughs> chicken box, he says. Chicken pox. And he scratched all his body, and then he died. That's unfortunate. Rest in peace, my friend. Now, is he the only janitor that we have? If so, that's going to be problematic here. Yeah, he is. Okay. So we have one cook. Let's go ahead and start assigning a few extra janitors now because we don't need that many workers now. I think we got the bare essentials done. We'll get two janitors up and running. I want to have one scientist, obviously. We only have one scientist left over, so Hina Gray needs to survive everything. <laughs> like every single thing that happens here. Uh, okay. So, scientists, we have one engineer to fix stuff, we have two janitors. Man, we only have two engineers as well. We need to have, like, the next batch of people be more talented than just workers and janitors. So, that's gonna work out for now. That's good, yeah. 
Alright, so unpause. New janitor should come over here and start cleaning that up. How are we doing with the food system here? We're fine? We still have 28 fish, right? Well, we'll get more food happening here soon. Now, I want to set this up how? Like a 2x2 two two area? So I think we need like a 3x1. So here we have 1, 2, 3. Oh, we didn't have to dig more then. So let me get up to this dig down. For our vegetable area. Okay. So that's fine. And again, everything that does not is not being used, we can turn off to conserve some power. 17%. We need to, we're gonna have some we need needs power and water for the veggie gardens as well, so we want to make sure we have enough for that. Which is the reason why I kinda held off in the second machinery here as well. Because the vegetable guard Oh no, 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 earthquake, stop it. Janitors, do your job. Clean the, 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 the stuff away over here. Oh, when people get sick, you actually have them walk around and puke, so you will see puke on the floor. If they have the runs, there's actually doo-doo on the floor, especially if you don't have any toilets as well. <laughs> That's a problem. Luckily, we do have toilets, so I think we're going to be fine in that regard. Alrighty, veggie garden. Let's go into... We need some farming. Oh, wait, wait, we need the proper flooring here first, so... Floor, metal, down through here. We need some spots afterwards, so... We'll do... Metal, and... Oh, you know what, we'll cancel that one out and go this way. And I will follow it up by mining this out one more time. Just so that we can have a proper wall there. Okay. Now we can finally build our veggies. Farming. Vegetable patch. Can only be built on metal floor and vegetables at 10% nutrition value. So this is going to be the lowest one that you can actually make. But it's the only, this, this is the only one that's unlocked at the moment. So we have to bear with it. So you come over here and you come over here. And you take up 10 and 10 each. Uh-oh. 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 Uh I don't think we have enough water for that guy. So, we might have to turn off one poop shower. You take up five. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, we should have, be able to do it with that one. Alright, so we're going to turn off one shower for now. We'll just roll one shower and then the two toilets. I think that's fine. You guys need power and water, obviously. Let's see here, 10 and 10 each, so we're looking at 20. Just enough water now, and mini reactor is going to be fine as well. Okay. I may, I may be misreading that, Don't so don't quote me on it. We might have to either disable something else, or we'll see. Electricity and water. Let's go ahead and pause this momentarily so shit isn't running here in the background. Power cable, you guys need power. So luckily for us, I can just connect you over here, it does seem. Which is through the wall. And then you'll connect like that. Uh-huh. Confirm that one. And then water pipes. Oh, good. Another connection right here. So useful. So useful. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we need that many, though. There you go. That's good. And confirm it. I love it when things work out the way I want them to, you know? So it's a nice feeling. Alrighty, scientists, do we still need you there as a doctor? I think everybody's in good condition now. I mean, the person you were supposed to save died, so... It is time for you to move on out here. I need some farmers now. So, welcome to the farmland, and you... We're gonna have two farmers at least, one chef, one engineer, two janitors and two workers. That's a pretty nice distribution for now. Yeah. Oh, disease. Oh, no. Homer has broken his leg. Defending the bunker. Oh, good. He's she's taking care of Homer before she um. I, no, no, she's still a doctor, right? Oh, I didn't. I never switched out. Ah. You know what? I'll, I'll leave you there for now. Then I guess I don't think I need you. Need you for something else. We might as well have a place for people to come and get themselves healed up. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. And these guys are up and running. As you can see, our farmers are now over here farming away. Oh, we had a grown up. Igor Barnes has become of age. He can now work with the other adults. So the other two should be growing up here pretty soon. Is, he, is that you? That is Igor. I remember you when you were a little guy. You were a little teeny tiny little dude. Ah. They grew up so fast. Oh my god! Claudia grew up too. That's so cute. Okay. Where's the uh, the third one? There she is. Paula. Alrighty. Let's go into pausing here a moment. Excuse me. Pause here momentarily. Um, Paula, Igor, and Claudia, right? Yeah. Oh look, another straight up worker. Not crazy about it, but I'll set up set you up as a worker for now. 
Claudia could be a farmer, and that's about it. And Igor could be a chef. You know what? It's not too bad. Let me add a second chef into the mix here. So whenever one of them's tired, we have one to swap in. And you could also be a farmer. We'll have three farmers over here rotating, so we have a lot of food coming in. And let's see happiness. I do believe our people might start complaining here pretty soon because there is no leisure activities nor working out. And that's something we'll start building up here pretty soon. You are still producing stuff, right? A second uh, machine right here would definitely help us produce faster. But if we build another one, we're looking at, what is it, 150, if I'm correct here? Let's see. We need production. 100, so we'll be dropping down to 51. What I want to do is, well, you know what, before we do that, how about we just set up an exercise to go, it's only 30. And how much are you? 50. Okay, we'll set up at least one sofa for now, and one workout area. So, here's where you guys sleep for now, right? Where's the wall going to be at? That's going to be the wall. So, we'll set up a leisure area right here. And we'll set up exercise area through here. Nothing too much, like not too many of them right now because we're kind of low on building materials. So, until we build that up, we don't want to have too many of them. But we definitely need more than one exercise bike and more than one leisure area. But for now, they'll have to learn to share because I can't necessarily bring it all the amount in the world here for us. Now... Reactor is still holding up strong. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you are still available to pump out 140 more kilowatts, huh? And you are, oh, 10 away from your cap. I could turn that on if I wanted to. You know what? Let's go ahead and turn on the shower again. Since we can. 3%. Yeah, 5 left to give. Alrighty, good. Very, very nice. And here you guys, these guys are over here getting some leisure activities. You know, they need a rest on occasion. Read some newspapers. I'm not sure where they're going to do some newspapers from. I'm pretty sure up in the ground level, people no longer exist. <laughs> we are the remnants of society here. And these guys over here just dancing. Just throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Hey! No, no, no sorts of fornication in my, my base, okay? We talked about this. You guys no longer fornicate. This is the reason why we have the test tube babies, okay? This is not Demolition Man, too. You're not having, like, sex through, like, cyber eyeglasses. By the way, speaking of Demolition Man and the cyber, you know, the cyber sex that they had in that movie with the, the goggles and stuff that simulated sex with virtual reality, how close is that from happening now with fucking VR things left and right? Crazy, huh? I'm telling you, man, Demolition Man was ahead of its time. So underrated as a science flick film. I still tell you that to this very day. So good. Sly Stallone, hey, you know, every now and then, I gotta make a sci-fi film, because, you know, I can only box so long, take so many hits to the head, and, you know, what happens like that. That's gonna be my Rocky impersonation, and with that, <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up here for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support, it does mean a lot, stick around for the next episode. Um, if you have not done so yet as well, leave your name in the comments if you want to be renamed after a colonist. It's not gonna happen until maybe five episodes, or... Until maybe episode 4 or 5 is when I'll do my first renames. Depends on how many episodes I record here today, but I plan to record a few more. So, give it time before the names go up. And um, just leave it here for now, and also leave a thumbs up and a like. The support really does me a lot. I will catch you next time.